With the evolution of technology and the rise of the computer's capabilities, they became a more predominant tool, now also on the production of animation, and with Maho Yugi, this series was more linked with all of this. This series tells the adventures of Padudu, a young wizard that represents her sea town, who is in her travel to the kingdom of Zipland, where she'll face another witches, having the champion, besides a good money prize, the right to become a magical girl, being able to go to the earth to become an idol, in addition of becoming the new queen of that kingdom. In her travel she'll meet and be accompanied by Dononon, an expert witch that has the bad reputation of destroying towns and attack another witches. This series starts with an OVA completely animated by computer in 3D, condensing the main plot of the story, and later it was broadcast on internet as series with short episodes, which are called ONA or Original Net Video, with 22 9 minute episodes, with regular animation in 2D. These episodes extend the story adding characters with different themes, like the suspicious wish Mew Mew, based on cats, Padudu's rival Pippin, which is a bunny girl, and the evil queen Purilun, and her pervert assistant Tsukimi. This series is mostly comical, but it's not suitable for every audience when using in its humor, graphic violence and some fan service in addition to strangely uncomfortable situations, like the fact that Padudu's assistant is a fish that is part of her outfit and eats from him when being alive. Sometimes the Magical Girl series come from unexpected ideas and creators, so they aren't always the typical heroines and witches from fantastic worlds, but the result of another situation, as it was with this series. With the Shichinin no Nana series, we watch the curious story of Nana Suzuki, who lives with her grandfather, which is an inventor, and his latest creation is the accomplishment of his dream of creating a crystal that encloses the rainbow light, using for this a modified microwave oven, that when Nana is looking for one to use, she opens the invention by accident, throwing away the crystal, splitting in seven colors, resulting also that Nana is split in seven versions of her, each one with a different part of her personality. So the original Nana now lives and deals with the other version of her, that to identify each one, they have nicknames according to their character, with Nanape, the hothead and tomboy, Nanako, the slow and sleepy, Nanachi, the happy and careless, Nanarin, the emotional and crybaby, Nanasama, the smart and wise, and Nanapon, the sexy and mystic. Nana and in consequence her alter egos are in love of her classmate Yuichi, provoking every kind of funny situations when looking to approach to him, using also their superhuman powers like superheroines that the crystal give them with could be a kind of magic that they use. But because it would be a problem to explain the other Nanas, they try not to show themselves together and with their powers, being only Nana's grandfather and her best friend Hitomi, the only ones that know this. As the series goes on, to be able to use their powers and hide their identities, they use some hero suits with helmets calling themselves the Nana Rangers, with their corresponding colors of each Nana, that besides looking for Yuichi's love, they help the people in their neighborhood. Something notorious about the series is the character design, very distinctive of its creator, Mine Yoshisaki, who is known by his famous series, Keroro Gunso, making some references between them in them.
Miru Modepon, also known as Mimo Sivan, it's a series that uses the known idea in which the protagonist, being a normal girl, has access to magic and receives magical powers by a magical companion from another world. In this case, two protagonists that don't go well alone. This is the story of Kaede Minami, a junior high school student that finds a magical shop that sells cups which when serving in them a hot beverage, it appears a fairy from need that it will grant wishes. But it results that from the cup it comes out the prince from the fairy's kingdom, Mirmo, who appeared there just to run away from his country when he was engaged with the fairy Virumu, who has an extremely temperamental personality, and also he is selfish so he denies to grant Kaede's wishes, who we'll have to constantly convince him. And besides, because of their personalities, they'll often be in conflict. Besides meeting the boy that Kaede likes, Setsu, who lived with Mirumo's fiancé, will eventually meet more characters, both allies and antagonists, like Asumi, Kaede's rival, who is accompanied by Mirumo's enemy fairy, Yashichi. Despite that many of the early episodes follow the daily life adventures of Kaede and Mirumo, dealing with their personal affairs and discovering a world, later when occurring a big crisis on Mirumo's country, Kaede helps him getting the skill to transform herself into a fairy with a magical microphone getting powers similar to those of another fairies with their magical musical instruments. This because of this, why this series belongs to the Magical Girls genre, with Kaede's magical transformation an item, with Mirumo as her companion. This is a long series that consists of four seasons, mixing fantasy, comedy, and a little of romance and drama. Tokyo Mew Mew, also known in its edited version as Mew Mew Power, is one of the series that reproduce the formula created by Sailor Moon, where a girl's team with an alternative identity, colors, and distinctive magical powers fight against a group of enemies, that in each episode they appear a monster which the girls will defeat to protect the world from some dreadful destiny. This story starts following the main protagonist Ichigo Momomiya, who in her first date with Masaya Aoyama, they go to an endangered animal species exhibition, where she's found and monitored by two young guys, when they detect that she has special qualities to become one of the Mew Mews. The Mew Mew are girls that are compatible to receive the DNA of some animal, getting its skills and some magical powers when transforming in their new version to fight aliens and the chimeras that they create when infected animals. It's like that, that in a strange way the two researchers of the new project, Ryo and Keichiro, discover everyone that will be a part of the new team, guiding them to use their power while they work as waitresses in their base, hidden as a cafeteria. The new team is conformed by Ichigo, the cheerful leader that merged with an idiomote cat, Mint, the rich and spoiled that merged with the blue lorikeet bird, Lechus, the shy and smart that merged with the finless porpoise, Pudi, the younger and playful that merged with the golden lion tamarind monkey, and Sakuro, the cold and mature that merged with the grey wolf, which are helped by their companion creature Masha which has the skills to detect the aliens and some power sources related with the muse, and to swallow alien parasites. For the description, this series fulfills all the stereotypical features of a magical heroine girl series with an animal team, adding the appeal of the girls dressed as waitresses with a story where the comedy and romance are predominant, with a little of action.
A series that uses the classic concept of a girl that, with magic, takes another identity. Full Moon Osagashte follows a similar story to Fancy Lala, from which maybe it was inspired, but with a more dramatic and tragic tone. This is the story of Mitsuki Koyama, a girl that, at her young age, has a tumor in her throat, which besides risking her life, very soon prevent her to accomplish her dream of becoming a singer. Because of this practically uncorrable affliction, her death date has been set, so Tushi Migami appears, who serves as the same purpose as the Grim Reaper, with the identities of Takuto and Meroku, which can take the form of a cat and a bunny. Then they accidentally tell Mitsuki that she'll die after one year, so she decides to go to an audition, and Takuto sympathizing with her, he helps her in exchange of accepting her death when the time comes giving her the power of transforming into a 16-year-old, blonde and healthy girl that becomes the idol called Full Moon. But Mitsuki's main reason to become a singer is to be listened by Eichi, her first love of which she was separated when she was younger, when he went to live to the US, so love is one of the main motivations in this story and she faces many obstacles to achieve her goals, because, besides her illness, she must hide the other identity, living a double life, and going against her grandmother's wishes, since she hates the idea of her singing. This series also belongs to the shoujo genre, since the relations of friendship and love between the characters are very important, having the classic magical idol as the main character, with the Shinigami as her companions. The magical girls usually are related with a strange or foreigner identity from the Japanese, relating with characters and features of fantastic, alien or western origins, so Asagiri no Miko takes something very Japanese, the Shinto priestesses or Miko. This is the story of Yuzu Hieda, the middle sister of three, who as the ones that are in charge of the Temple of the Morning Mist, they inherited and developed special skills as priestesses to fight demons and evil beings with the help of their talismans. After a long time, Yuzu meets again with her childhood friend and first love, Tadahiro, who possesses an eye that can see the spiritual world, and it's for that reason he's pursued by evil creatures and sinister characters looking for power. In consequence, he's lodged at the Hieda sister's temple, where he'll be more protected even when Yuzu will become a target for the enemies. In one of the fights of Yuzu and her sisters against some evil creatures in her school, she gets so much attention and admiration from her classmates that some of her close friends and classmates wish to become priestesses, creating them the Miko Council. In this group, they'll get a hard training from Yuzu's older sister, Kurako, to become priestesses, receiving each one a talisman compatible with them that they use to fight as a team the evil creatures. These girls, when creating a team that often fights monsters with the magic and holy powers of their talismans, they follow a well-known formula of the magical girls genre, and despite that appears a cult called Koma, she doesn't take the role of companion or assistant. Thank you. 